Yes, you all know what Steve's having for dessert. Chocolate brownie, ice cream, two scoops, double scoops. Whereas I'm having some super good creme brulee. It's easier to show you the breakfast menu on the in, on the video screen. There's cereals, granola, best pastries, muffins, breads, fresh fruit, yogurts, panna cotta, homemade muesli, cold cuts cheese, seasonal fresh fruit platter, berries, sh shrimp salad on rye, homemade waffles, pancakes, french toast, oatmeal, kanji, brown kippers, New York steak, breakfast lamb chops, American breakfast, English breakfast, eggs, omelets, eggs benedict, smoked salmon benedict, and that's breakfast. Quarter. This is a daily temperature check. Look at that. So here, Steve is going to either take your mask. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Measuring, stand still. Ta-da! Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> this morning I'm going to have the waffle. And my, this morning I'm going to have the waffle. My favorite thing to do with the waffle is to smush berries or any kind of fresh fruit over the top along with bacon. So you'll see this massive mushed up waffle pretty soon. I thought they were going to give me a little tiny square, but it's big. So I'm going to dump everything on top, and over there is Steve's Eggs Benedict, which maybe I'll have that tomorrow. There are not enough breakfasts for me to try everything. I asked just for one piece of French toast, but they just don't do anything in ones. Huge amount of breakfast. I ain't talking. The raspberries are spectacular. They're probably going to run out of raspberries because I keep asking for more raspberries. We are almost through the favorites that I order for breakfast, then you will not see any more breakfast stuff. Everything is always so humongous. Today we're doing something we haven't done before in a long time, banana pancakes. I'm trying to show you the scale of the size of these big honkin' thick pancakes. If I I just turned my banana the other way, now I've got a smiling face. I'm just gonna do this once, okay? The bakery, which you've already seen. That's a great sticky bun now. Morning, how are you? Fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Go tomatoes. Mushrooms. Oh, here, up here they had papaya. For that great smoked salmon. Jesus. There's so many good things. Tuna. <laughs> this is where they make a Caesar salad. And look at the fresh veggies. Ooh, they've even got a pulled pork salad. Zucchini bell peppers with a ranch dressing. Then we go here. Um, and what? That's right. No, look at that gorgeous lamb. Leg of lamb. That is so good. This is a Baltic salad. It's a bagel, red bagel beets, with, uh, cream cheese, baby and baby shrimp. Oh, yes. you with okay. and that is uh, tuna tartine niçoise. There is pizza every single day. Down here are all the desserts, see, and all the cookies. And at the very end for the grand finale for Steve, today there's vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, coconut creme brulee, hazelnut. Ah, uh, even though I ate just three hours ago, Steve and I have just loaded up plates before we hit the ice cream with the desserts. I intend to pick the baby shrimp out of the bagel and that lamb, leg of lamb was just too delicious looking to pass up. And that is a small pork, pulled pork salad. 
talking, okay? Wait until you hear what I'm having. Great menus. I'm going to have the smoked sturgeon with caviar. Can't pass that up. It comes with on a blindy. And then they've got terrain de foie gras and jumbo lump crab cake. I am ordering all three starters. The oriental style scallops and lobster. Now, you really don't think I'm going to eat all that, but I have, I've got to order all that. And then for dessert, Steve and I already know. Chocolate souffle with coffee sauce. You just have to see this. Do I have enough silverware for all my different courses? We will begin with a crab cake. Foie gras deserves its close-up. What they do is they put the caviar on the top and then the eggs and onions underneath it. Great idea. This is the beautiful scallop and lobster. Is that a steak knife? Steak knife? Yes, it is. With bok choy. Chocolate souffle with Bailey's whiskey sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Steve here is yumming. It's major yum, Steve? Very good. I am trying to restrain today at lunch, so that's roasted vegetables, roasted cauliflower and crumbs. I think it was Thai-style barbecue pork. Thank you. Cheese fix with camembert, blue, and machego. Baba Aram, and that is a caramel custard cake. Both of these were really delicious. I can't decide if I like the caramel cake better or the baba. Filled with rum. Today's wine, white wine, is Pinot Grigio from California. If you look back on my other Viking videos, you'll see it's exactly the same. I'm not going to read the entire menu to you. I'm Med Freddy's does not change the menu, so for us it's just probably just a one night thing. Even though we could probably eat here every night since there's with only 150 people, we can make reservations easily. <laughs> From our selection of homemade bread for tonight. This one is gargonzola bread with the gargonzola cheese inside. We have rosette with the garlic. We have focaccia with the cherry tomatoes, rye bread, cumin grissini and lavash with the garlic. So parmesan so cheese, much. olive oil and balsamic oil inside. I just broke open the one with gorgonzola cheese in it. There it is. It's included for a uh, different variety of grapes inside, mm -hmm. like a Shiraz, like a Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. So it's a full body wine. I'm going to have the octopus carpaccio. Steve is going to have the caprese salad, the capellini with scampi. Zucchini wrapped tiger shrimp lemon sauce, handmade angel hair pasta, and beef steak Fiorentina. Thick cut ribeye coated in garlic oil rubbed with porcini mushroom powder, kosher salt, brown sugar, and chili flakes. Here they have an open kitchen. That's probably my my, my octopus, my carpaccio, yes, right? It's coming, no, I'm in no hurry. I Steve salad. That is so beautiful. I will go back to my seat. Thank you very much, Chef. Decapitated the legs <laughs> off my shrimp. That was really good. The sauce was very light and the portion was not gigantic. And here is a gorgeous hunk of ribeye steak. I, they want, he asked if I wanted a half. And I said, no, give me the whole, only because ribeye has lots of fat on it. I was saying I like goat, but I don't want the stew. But I may see what the jam cakes taste like. The poulet de breast. By the way, uh, breast chicken has blue feet. I learned that a long time ago when Steve and I went on an eating orgy in France back in the 70s, I think it was. I'm a font of food Trivia. Thought they have duck and liver parfait. That's for me. Or maybe the seared Iberico pork with the blue cheese butter. That sounds sort of yummy. 
appetizer or starter number one, the combination of duck and chicken liver. This pork looks yum because it's not cooked real well. I was just telling them, here is the fabulous chef. Chef Joseph. My name is Joseph, executive chef on board. And you just enjoyed the pluma de bolota. It was the so far the best entree I have had, not it's only a, on board the ship. It's a nice uh, a breed of pork. It's a cross between a wild boar and an Imbarian pig. Um, so they feed on acorns all across the, the, the whole year, free range, and you can definitely taste it in the meat. So. Well, but not only that, but it was not overcooked. Thank you so much, Chef. It's wonderful. Just wonderful. You can see by my plate. I ordered the jam cake because I wanted to see what it tasted like. Let's see this little guy. Yeah, there is jam in it, and that's some kind of ice cream, I guess. It's really tasty. However, I hedged my bets by ordering a piece of raspberry cheesecake, just in case I didn't like the jam cake. German red tonight, and we had the Riesling for lunch which was really delicious, Very if you could call yes. wine delicious. Yes. yes, reds for both of us. Please. I see they added a destination mm -hmm. men menu with St. Lucian crab ravioli. Crab meat in a garlic butter sauce, so I'm gonna have that. And then for dessert, they've got a passion fruit creme brulee. But I'd already decided I'm having grilled veal chop. Steve has already yummed his way through his ravioli. He said, delicious, you said? Yeah. It's very good. A drop dead veal chop. For those of you who meat eaters who don't have a chance to eat a veal chop, it is often the most expensive part of a menu. It is veal is more expensive than a steak. So if you ever have a chance to really tuck in, you have to go for it. This is described as passion fruit creme brulee. So I anticipated where it's in a little, uh, you know, the little pot and the top is all car caramelized, but it looks entirely different. Coda, I said, take it away, was not to my taste. Bring me a regular creme brulee. Steve is starting his lunch with just a few little items on it. From, From Portugal, Portuguese yeah. wine, oh yum. Portuguese. Thank you. Thank you. Barbecue pork spare ribs, potato wedges, then we've got Indian curry, your mom bread, soup, swordfish, roasted plum tomato with dip peel, apple crumble. That's how are you today? Good. See what's the specials today? Peanut butter pecan, coconut, coconut sorbet. The ice cream choices don't excite me. Ooh, the appetizer on tonight's destination menu is Barbadian fish cakes with pepper sauce, spicy pickled okra, and cilantro. It's lobster night. I won't pass that up. And I'll tell you right now, the dessert is chocolate. Raspberry lava cake with a hazelnut twee and pistachio gelato. I definitely do not want to try conkies. Cornmeal, coconut, and pumpkin steeped in banana leaves. Well, I've got enough for uh, Downton Abbey. My little lobster picarata. My lobster cracker. Ex knives for God knows what else. Fish cakes first. I don't know if the sauce, I think it might be the sauce, very spicy. They're good, but spicy. The fish was codfish. Viking is the only cruise line that I have ever been on where they serve an entire lobster. Yes, lobster tail, but not the entire lobster. Steve's all-time favorite, lava cake with raspberry and pistachio ice cream. Mario's. Yeah. Well, I'll taste it. I have absolutely no idea what it tastes like. Okay. Steve doesn't even look to see what's being served. He just 
starts piling things on his plate. I have to see what that one is. Some kind of chicken. It's almost comical. This is grilled salmon. I said, can I just get some off the bread? Obviously no. It's all plunked here. And this is a turkey salad. And once again, I didn't want the bread. I just wanted the turkey salad. No. And grilled tomato. Today's special ice cream flavor is green tea. I'd rather be having green tea in Japan. Oh, all right, they're both French. Um, red for me tonight. Do you want? Red, red. Okay, reds for both of us. Thank you. Steve and I are basically treating this cruise as our own personal food and wine orgy. <laughs> There are worse, worse things to do, I guess. Vitello tunato. The tonato part is a tuna sauce, right there. And the vitello is veal, down on the bottom. Tonight's foie gras is seared foie gras. Liver, of course, duck liver. If I ever see foie gras on the menu, that's my go-to among my other gazillion go-tos. The dried fruit that accompanies it is so good. The figs and grapes, so yum. Steve is, ha Steve is having a Thai curry chicken for dinner with rice as his entree or main course. I'm just having this. It's goat cheese and asparagus. Crepe Suzette's in a Grand Marnier caramel sauce, one of the items or one of the foods that I certainly will not be making at home. Lunchtime, what else is new? And I just went back for a second helping of something that is so simple. Chickpeas that are marinated and so good. I also demolished some eggplant salad and uh, <laughs> what's left of, of Thai marinated cabbage. Steve has short ribs. Short ribs, the United Airlines special. Um, pizza. I'm trying to see what else. Some cucumbers. Linguine with prawns, garlic, plum tomatoes. That's what Steve is having, a summer vegetable paella. I'm just showing you a few of the items today. I don't care for duck comfort. Bagel of the day has tuna on it. And that one is also Niswa salad. And they have great salmon. And let's pop over to the daily desserts. Oh my gosh. Tre leche cake. It's a, a sponge cake with a cream. They're tarts. They've got a raspberry amandine. I'm going to have to have that. And pina colada ice cream today. What? Well, Steve and I are doing double appetizers again, or starters. Tuna tataki and seared duck foie gras. Going to have the Teresa Crusted Mediterranean Sea Bass with green asparagus fricassee, morel, and port wine juice. Tonight is Viennese Apples Strudel with bourbon vanilla gelato. Well, you can't go, can't go wrong with that. The seared foie gras is exceptional. As a matter of fact, it's so good, Steve is going to order a second. Can I get another one? And here's the very yummy tuna tataki sea bass. I like sea bass. That is that icy mocha whatever. <laughs> and I think they gave Steve two, two scoops of chunky chocolate brownie ice cream. That makes it uh, between three to five that he had today. My generic apple strudel with vanilla ice cream in a cream sauce. Let's browse the dinner menu tonight, starting with desserts. They've got a milk chocolate lava cake with Rocky Road Gelato and Krebs Samurai with banana, mango, yuzu, and sabayon. That is for me. The broiled herb marinated jumbo shrimp. 
with a balsamic reduction pesto risotto and baby vegetables though that Sichuan style beef tenderloin sounds wonderful and so does stir-fried pad thai this is one of my favorite things on Viking the fact that you can look ahead and see all the menus online well I've tried ostrich I'm not an ostrich fan. Steve and I do not want to leave the ship without one of her burgers, even though it's almost dinner time. So I ordered the Pancho Villa burger. Comes with arugula, blue cheese, guacamole, and spicy habanero mayo. I think if I put my onion and tomato on my Pancho Villa burger, I won't be able to get my mouth around it. So huge. Tonight's destination meals, pigeon pea soup. I hate pigeons, they're filthy, filthy dirties. St. Martin's bare ribs, that sounds really good. And butternut squash pudding. I may have to order that in addition to my other dessert. So tonight is the Spanish Rioja, yes, right in red. I've... Scallops. When they refer to an escargot butter, that means it's very garlicky, which we both love. We love garlic. Uh, Steve and I went all out tonight with the roasted chicken, and the waiter talked us into saying that the ribs, the specialty of this island, have a really great flavor. That is a half order of the Szechuan beef tenderloin and <laughs> the broiled shrimp. The risotto is better than the shrimp. I really like the Szechuan beef tenderloin. These ribs were not as good as the ribs that we had the other day up there in World Cafe. Their sweet potatoes are the white sweet potatoes, not the orange like we're used to. Here's chocolate, milk chocolate lava cake, Rocky Road ice cream. We're in doing multiples tonight. And this is that special, is it squash yes, or something? Yes, butternut squash pudding. Squash pudding with coconut ice cream. The crepes. I wanted to try that because it sounds so interesting. Squash pudding. The squash pudding was surprisingly tasty. Tonight's destination additions are asparagus hollandaise, stam pot, grilled sausage, kale, potato mash, you know, and some kind of Dutch Napoleon tampos, crisp soft shell crab, lobster thermidor, and Grand Marnier souffle. Doesn't get much better than that. Tempura. Soft shell crab. I don't remember the last time I saw lobster thermidor on the menu. Do you remember the days when it used to be a standby? I do. A most yum, yum meal. The Grand Marnier Souffle. If you've never, Steve is oh my god, over it. If you have never had a souffle, you have to cut into it. And then, you, and then you dump it right into the center. Wait for it to cool down a little bit so you don't burn the inside of your mouth and yum it up.